Katarina is finally here. And... Oh wait, hold on. Wow. What a nice... Sword. I mean dagger. Welcome to League of Legends Wild Rift news patch and updates. Bibicon is here and we are going to explain detail by detail on what are the patch 2.1a's adjustments and major or minor changes to the game itself. Uh, let's just read the whole patch notes because I'm tired of making professionalistic but lousy scripts. Katarina, the Sinister Blade, is the headline of this patch. Together with some adjustments and nerfs for some broken support champions and buffs for past broken champions. To make the broken unbroken and to make unbroken broken. You get it? Sorry we're late. Traffic is a nightmare. Well, me too. It's been two days or something the patch arrives and here's our news and update video. Maybe it's a coincidence. Oh yeah, Katarina's release and some skins. Yep. Typical patch notes, but nice. Bilgewater and Deathsorn Katarina, Omega Squad Fizz, Timo and Tristana, L Tiger Brom, and Super Galaxy Shivana. That's cool. And some event. Katarina's challenge where there are no challenge at all. And some buffs for champions. Ash, her ranger's focus cooldown decreased 1 second per level, which means Ash can cast her ranger's focus more often. Dealing more slow and damage to the enemies. Darius. His first skill decimates missing health heal increased from 12 to 36% to 15 to 45%, which is nice. And his third skill apprehends slow duration increased from 1 to 1.5 seconds. They buffed Darius because Darius' match capabilities is slowly decreasing as the game reaches late. Ezreal. His mystic shot based damage increased from 20, 50, 80, 110 to 20, 55, 90, 125. We'll be expecting great return of his reel in the matches. Virus. His first skill piercing arrow decreased its cooldown from 18, 16, 14, 12 to 16, 14, 12, 10 seconds, which is great for Virus to maintain his laning and poking capabilities. Vayne, her third skill just received a major damage increase when an enemy was stunned at a terrain. Just look at how much damage they add. Vayne users and mains, it's time to shine bright like a diamond. Vayne's ultimate also received a cooldown reduction, which means that she can cast her ultimate more often. They expect that Saya is weak on her release, and they were right, so they add some buffs to her first, second, Third, and ultimate skills. Saya may be more broken now, I think. For champions who met their respective demise, the nerf ones. Lulu, her base stats. Health and movement speed was greatly reduced. Also, her second skill's polymorph duration was reduced. Her third skill's shield is nowhere to be found with a great reduction of its duration and cast range, and so as her ultimates. Miss Fortune, but don't have any more fortune at all. Her base stats, armor, health regen, and health regen per level are decreased. Also some damage adjustments on her passive skill, from 100 to 50%. Lastly is our almighty Olaf, with a decrease in base armor and damage. His first skill also received nerfs for its low effect and duration. Also for the items, Blade of the Ruined King which affects most marksmen and champions who are recommended and suitable for this item, Leandri Torment, and Hunting Guys. Well, what can you say about the patch? Is it more balanced now or what? 